Good morning, villagers, and welcome to, and welcome to our news program coming from you live from the VS Media Center. I hope everyone enjoyed the weekend with a little extra sleep today, thanks to the weather. Your newscasters are Tony from Miss Weiner's class and also Ryan from Miss Weiner's class. Today is Monday, December 9th, 2013. It's a day two. Today's character education thought of the day is be a person that others can rely on. Now to Tony. Now to Tony <laughs> at our weather wall. <laughs> Today is going to be freezing rain. The current temperature is 27 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, the high is expected to be 40 degrees Fahrenheit. The low is supposed to be 25 degrees Fahrenheit. Tomorrow is expected to be light snow with the high of 29 and the low of 15. Looking at the radar, we see lots of rain out there. There will be no recess today because of the delayed opening schedule. Thanks, Tony. If you look up to the night sky tonight, you what the moon will look like. Our waxing moon is about seven days away from being full. Let's see what's cooking in the kitchen today. Cheeseburger and a whole wheat bun with a whole green macaroni salad. And don't forget your veggies. Your broccoli fries. At this time, please stand for the flag. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag. Young Scholars Gift Money is due on Wednesday. Let's see if every class can meet their goal. Speaking of gift money, let's turn the show over to Mr. Hattinger to recognize two students who went over and above for your Young Scholars Drive. Good morning, boys and girls in Village School. Ms. Lacey had a meeting this morning, unfortunately can't be here, but we're here to recognize two students from our school who went way above and beyond to support our Young Scholars fundraiser this year. As you may know, we've been doing Young Scholars for close to 20 years now, and every year a couple of students step up and do amazing things. And we just wanted to recognize Kylie and Katie, and I was afraid I'd get their names wrong, but I think I got them right, who together raised more than $200 $200 will support two entire families for a meal and gifts. And they did it by raking leaves, by putting on a show, by walking dogs. They just went above and beyond and sacrificed their time. And we know there are many boys and girls and classes in village school who are doing the same. And we're going to recognize some of the other classes we've heard who have done amazing things. So Ms. Lacey and I, want to, on behalf of the school and the Young Scholars, want to congratulate and present a certificate. First to Kylie for a job well done. And Katie, great job. We're so proud of you. And remember, boys and girls, keep up the good work, and we still have this week to finish raising money. So thank you very much, girls. And how about a big Village School round of applause for these two special young ladies. And now we'll hand it back to our newscasters. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Hattinger. Here's our intercept in Internet Safety Day. Remember to follow all the rules of the pledge you signed at school and at home. Now to Mr. Malakaitis for our Monday sports report. Good morning, villagers. Happy Monday, and it is nice and snowy out there. Let's take a look at how our local team is today. Any hopes that the New York Giants had of a miraculous playoff run after an 0 6 start were dashed yesterday by the San Diego Superchargers as they lost 37 to 14 and were officially eliminated from playoff contention. The Jets, despite a 37-27 victory over the hapless Oakland Raiders, need a miracle of their own in order to make the playoffs. And in a winter wonderland yesterday in the city, city of brotherly love, the Philadelphia Eagles toppled the Detroit Lions 34-20. The Eagles are now in the driver's seat of the NFC East. And all Philadelphia fans will have their eyes on tonight's Monday Night Football matchup between the Dallas Cowboys and the Chicago Bears in Chicago. Tony, Ryan, back to you. Another, Another awesome sports report, Mr. Malkadis. You're invited to enter the Mary Jacobs Literally Gingerbread Competition. You can use gingerbread or graham crackers and make any kind of structure inspired by a book. 
Drop it off at the Mary Jacobs Library anytime between today and Saturday. Happy building and good luck if you enter. Don't forget you can still donate a new toy to St. Peter's Hospital. There is a collection box near the main office. Montgomery's High School class of 2015 is hosting a holiday brunch this Saturday from 9 to 12. Children can enjoy playing games, creating holiday arts and crafts, and enjoy some snacks and drinks. For more information, visit the link above. For the VES News Network, this is Tony signing off. And Ryan signing off. <laughs> Have a marvelous Monday and a wonderful weekend ahead. Remember, Remember Blazers, Blazers, Blazers says, be your best, best at VES. VES.